personally absolutely love different dividend paying stocks and ETFs that pay dividends or distributions at a monthly frequency. Now, this is partially because who honestly doesn't want to get paid more income more frequently? But on top of that, by getting paid dividends or distributions on a monthly frequency, you not only have the potential to compound your portfolio a slight bit faster, but also if you're someone like myself that as of right now is building out a long-term portfolio that someday is going to help you do things like pay your rent, pay your mortgage, pay your car insurance, those bills of course are going to be paid on a monthly frequency. Now, although this specific video is not all about why I love monthly paying dividend stocks, this video is about my favorite monthly paying dividend stock across the entire market as we speak. This monthly paying dividend stock has been in my portfolio for several years now. I own several hundred shares of it, and I personally have been getting paid on monthly dividends from the single stock for many, many years now. Now, this stock's performance is massive. The starting yield is massive, so you're definitely going to want to stick around. Real quick for those that haven't already, make sure to go to the first link in my description and grab my new dividend investing ebook where I share exactly how I went from $0 invested to now earning over $6,000 on a monthly basis and over $1 million invested in the market. Along with the ebook, you're also going to receive my custom dividend tracker where you can track your dividend progress on an ongoing basis and reach your dividend investing goals. So make sure to grab yourself a copy of my dividend investing ebook and the new dividend tracker today. It's the first link in my description. Now, the monthly paying dividend stock that we're talking about, my favorite monthly paying dividend stock across the entire market, and maybe the best one ever to do it, is none other than ticker symbol MAIN or Main Street Capital Corporation. Now, Main Street Capital is a business development company that provides flexible private equity and debt capital solutions to many, many different privately held businesses. It says right here in their website, privately held businesses turn to us because we are Main Street, not Wall Street. We build relationships and tailor transactions to meet the unique needs of our portfolio companies and their owners. Now, Main Street Capital also then says we provide one-stop capital solutions, private debt, and private equity capital to lower middle market companies and debt capital to middle market companies. Main Street's lower middle market companies generally have an annual revenue between somewhere of around 10 to 150 million, while Main Street's middle market debt investments are made in businesses that are generally larger in size. Through our two business segments, we offer entrepreneurs, business owners, management teams, and financial sponsors a number of advantages to help each business realize its full potential and generate wealth for its owners. So what's cool about Main Street Capital is they're really helping out their partners, and by helping out their partners, Main Street Capital is making a boatload of money for doing so. Now they have all their partners listed right here. You can see the lower middle market names. Some of these names might ring a bell, but a lot of these names I really haven't heard of. But Main Street Capital offers a ton of help to a ton of different businesses. But enough about Main Street Capital's business, the stock is what we want to look into. This stock in the max time frame since about 2007 has went up around 243%. Now keep in mind guys, when I first started buying Main Street Capital, it was slightly after 2020. This single stock was generally trading at around $20 to $30 per share, and I personally thought that it was getting very, very expensive in the 40s. But over the years, Main Street Capital has continued to grow, and as of filming this video, Main Street Capital is just about a dollar off of an all-time high. Now a lot of times when you invest into a monthly paying dividend stock that has this type of growth potential and that has grown as fast as this stock has. You're not necessarily going to see all that much cash flow off of it. You're probably going to get either growth or get more cash flow. You really get a ton of both, but Main Street Capital is a little bit different. This single stock not only has continually paid massive dividends every single month, somewhere around the 8 to 9 to 10% yield, depending on back when you bought into it. And more importantly, if you look at the historical dividend payout chart, you see all the lines moving up into the right, but you also see all these darker, more penciled in lines. Those are all special dividends. Main Street Capital has offered special dividends a ton in the past, and basically ever since I started buying into Main Street Capital, shortly after, I've been receiving special dividends along with the monthly dividends, which has been incredible. Now, these special dividends, of course, are not guaranteed, just like the regular dividend is not guaranteed, although Main Street Capital has a massive track record of paying consistent monthly dividends pretty much as far back as we can go. Now, another thing to consider, even if Main Street Capital is currently offering somewhere of around a 5 to 6% forward yield, with those special dividends, it's bringing the yield up to 7, 8, 9, 10%. And during a recent earnings report that I listened to from Main Street Capital, the CEO was going through the math and explaining exactly how much they paid to investors, and it's honestly been gigantic. Now, the real question here is, is Main Street Capital a little bit too frothy to buy into it at these current levels? I mean, the monthly paying dividend stock is currently trading up 32% over the one year. Now, with Main Street Capital trading in the 50s, I personally have been dying to grab some Main Street Capital below the mid 40s, but it just hasn't happened. And who knows if it's going to happen anytime soon. Now, some investors are concerned about Main Street Capital's future with the reality of lower interest rates within the next few years. But I think Main Street Capital is going to be able to weather pretty much any storm at this point. The single stock is super diversified, they help out tons of different partners, and have a very good track record, at least as of so far. Now this might be the most shocking part of this entire video, so definitely listen in very closely here. 
A $10,000 investment into Main Street Capital. This is back during the inception of this stock back in 2007. So 17.05 years so far. On average, with dividends being reinvested, Main Street Capital has an average annual total return of 17.12%. Or that $10,000 investment back 17.05 years ago would have turned to $147 plus thousand dollars. Now, even with dividends not being reinvested, Main Street Capital still has offered almost a 12% average annual total return. And this is basically with investors spending the dividends on the way. But this is where it gets even crazier, and a lot of broad market investors do not like seeing this. It makes them sort of angry. Main Street Capital over the same exact time frame comparing it to SPY or the S&P. With dividends being reinvested, Main, of course, is returning around 17% on average, where SPY is returning around 10%. No, I'm not saying that SPY is bad. I'm not saying that SPY is going to underperform Main. I'm just saying over the last 17 years or so, Main Street Capital has ran laps around the SPY. Now, even with dividends not being reinvested, 11.4% for Main and around 8.7% for the SPY. So the monthly paying dividend stock, Main Street Capital, one of my favorites across my entire portfolio. And honestly, I could call this one my favorite monthly paying dividend stock across the entire markets. It's not only paid me personally a ton of dividends plus special dividends since I started buying shares of it, but also has grown as a company, has grown in share price significantly. And all along while since this stock has been trading since 2007, it has ran laps around the SPY. Now, the last thing you guys are probably wondering for good reason is, well, if you're such a big fan of Maine, if you love Main Street Capital, how many shares do you have in your portfolio? Well, I currently only have around 279 shares with an average cost per share of around $38.91. So my yield on cost for Main Street Capital because I bought most of my shares a long time ago is nearly 10%. And I know you guys are probably saying, if you love Main Street Capital so much, if you're so bullish on it, why in the world do you hold under 300 shares? Well, honestly, your guess is as good as mine. I missed out on the run-up for Main Street Capital, and every time I want to buy into it again, it just keeps going higher. Like I said earlier, if and when Main Street Capital trades in the low 40s, I will be loading the boat and building up Main Street Capital into a much, much larger foundational position. But until then, I'm pretty happy with my around $80 per month in dividends and a stock that I'm up significantly on. So now that we talked about my favorite monthly paying dividend stock, maybe one of the best monthly paying dividend stocks across the entire markets, I lastly want to hear from you guys down below. Do you personally own any shares of Main in your portfolio? And if so, how many shares do you have? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to please drop a like on it and subscribe for more future content like this. Thanks as always for stopping by. And if you are interested in investing, make sure to check out these recent videos I posted right here.